Okay, uh, we're looking at question four now from the January 2011 BY1 paper. Uh, this question is about uh, cell division. Uh, it's about both mitosis and meiosis. Okay, uh, the first part of the question wants you to put a tick or a cross in the box there uh, to state whether mitosis or meiosis or both um, are involved with the roles stated uh, there okay now before we go any further I just want to pull up uh, a table here uh, to show you some things you shouldn't do uh, in this type of question okay now you can ignore that this this actually is a scanned image of the uh, table from the question you can ignore uh, really whether the answer is supposed to be right or wrong here that's irrelevant what we're looking at is how I've actually drawn my uh, tick and crosses in so if we have a look at the first one here all right that's known as a hybrid uh, cross all right what I've done is I've started off putting a tick in changed my mind thinking oh no it should be a cross all right now even if the answer was a cross there um, it would still be marked wrong because you've got a hybrid cross. It's, it's, it's a tick and a cross sort of combined. Don't do that. If you want to change uh, your answer, make sure you scrub out, cross out completely your answer and then put um, uh, the correct answer in. The second thing you shouldn't do is you should not produce a tick that spans both boxes. Okay. Now, what the examiner would do would actually mark that wrong because you're not keeping the tick in the box that it should be in. Okay, like I've just done uh, with the red marker. Uh, so there's two little tips there on how to uh, fill in uh, the boxes with ticks and crosses. Okay, right. Uh, so let's have a look at the uh, mitosis and meiosis uh, question then. So is mitosis involved in growth? Um, it certainly is. Okay, so we can have a tick there. Uh, meiosis is not involved uh, with growth, so we can put a cross uh, in there. Um, produces variation. Uh, mitosis doesn't, uh, but meiosis does because meiosis produces gametes, which uh, show uh, variation. Okay. That's why we all look slightly different from each other. Okay, produces haploid cells. Mitosis does not produce haploid cells, but meiosis does. Remember that a haploid cell is one that has half the amount of DNA uh, in it. Okay, occurs in plants. Uh, mitosis does. Plants grow and repair themselves just like animals, so uh, mitosis is involved in that. And plants do produce gametes. Okay, uh, the male gamete in a plant is known as the pollen, and uh, in uh, the female gamete, of course, is known as the uh, the egg. Okay, uh, so that's the uh, the table uh, completed. I think easy four marks there. Okay, so moving on now, you're asked to draw a chromosome, uh, how it would appear during. Uh, prophase of uh, mitosis. So uh, I've drawn a, a chromosome for you. You can see it on the screen now. Uh, you can see it's got two chromatids and they are joined by uh, the centromere. You don't need to be any more detailed than that. That will be perfectly acceptable uh, for two marks. Okay, scrolling down to part C, you're asked to describe and explain uh, what happens to chromosomes during anaphase of mitosis? Anaphase, of course, is where the sister chromatids are pulled to opposite poles of the cell. Now, for that to happen, you need the um, centromeres to split and you need the spindle fibers to contract and shorten. Um, and that's basically all that happens during uh, anaphase. Okay, a straightforward answer then. Uh, the centromeres split and the chromatids are pulled to opposite poles of the cell by the shortening of the uh, spindle fibres.
Okay. Uh, lastly, then, part D uh, is asking you to name the cell organelle responsible for the production of the spindle fibres. Uh, that's, of course, the uh, centrioles. Okay, there you go. So that's the end uh, of question four. Um, it's worth a lot of marks. It's ten marks, but I don't think there's anything in there that should be demanding or challenging for those who have put in the time to practice past paper questions and obviously to do their revision. Okay, um, I'll pull up the uh, the mark scheme then so you can have a quick look at it. Um, there you go, the examiner doesn't like hybrid ticks. Okay, so don't do that. Make sure the tick and the cross are contained within one box. Um, and that's uh, that's question four. Okay.